everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bunker Designs. I've got a really cute sh uh, card to show you. It features the best delivery stamp set. This is in our current uh, 2022 spring mini catalog from Stampin' Up. I, if you know me, this is this is my kind of stamp set, cutesy, fun. Um, the truck, you can do so many things with a truck. You can color it, you can paper piece it. Um, I have a video on a little 3D project that I made with it. Um, but today we're just gonna make a bright and cheery card that features also the Pattern Party Designer Series paper. That's actually on the last chance list. Um, that is one of the free items that you can choose when you spend over $150. It's a huge 12 by 12 pack of paper and it's hands down my favorite paper in this current annual catalog. All right, well, let's get started. Let's start with the truck. I'm gonna stamp it twice. Um, we're going to stamp it on basic white and then on a piece of that patterned party designer series paper. I have put a black foam mat underneath my paper just because the table that I stamp on um, doesn't have a lot of give and so my photopolymer stamps sometimes um, won't stamp very well on this table. On my other counter where I normally stamp, they do just fine, but for some reason this table is a little weird. If you have that problem ever with a big photopolymer stamp, just get your piercing mat or a piece of fun foam from the craft store and put it under your paper. All right, now over here, we just need the back side of the truck. I'm gonna actually cut that out with paper snips. Okay, so let's do that first. Uh, you wanna grab a, a pair of scissors that are small and sharp. These are our paper snips. And I'm just going to cut out the box part of the truck. Um, I'm not gonna cut out the bumper. I'm gonna color that part in, but we're just going to cut this out. And I'm, I'm usually when I fussy cut, I tell you guys to leave a white border on the outside, but this, because we are placing it down onto another stamped image, I'm gonna cut right in the middle of that black line. I'm gonna go really slow and make sure I stay right inside that black line. Now, if you like this stamp set and you're looking for more ideas, I will have several other videos and um, projects to show you. So make sure you check those out on my YouTube channel. All right, so I'm just gonna lay this down with some stamp and seal like that. And now it just looks like it's part of the truck. You can't tell that it was stamped on something else. The color of that, uh, designer series paper is pool party so I have grabbed my pool party stamp and blends and I'm gonna color the door you can use another piece of designer series paper here or colored cardstock you know when you want a image to be lots of different colors you can stamp it on different colors of cardstock and then cut out the pieces um, and just piece them together that's why it's called paper piecing um, I don't mind fussy cutting. I know some of you are not a fan of fussy cutting. So if that's you, then just color it with Stampin' Blends or our colored pencils. And you won't have to do that. Because this project actually requires us to cut it out twice. We've cut out the box and we're going to cut out the truck part right there. All right. Now I'm leaving the window white. Um, if you want to color that in, you can. I'm just gonna take Smoky Slate and color that bumper. I added a little bit of shading there to the door by using the dark. I went around the outside edge and then blended it in, but I'm not gonna do that here. This is such a small little line. I'm just gonna leave it like that. All right, now, like I mentioned, we have to cut it out again. And this time I am gonna stay right on the outside of the black line stamped image okay you just go around and stay right on the outside uh, this will allow any kind of um, you know jagged cutting or maybe you feel like your cutting isn't the best this will kind of camouflage it because the eye, when someone looks at your truck, is only gonna see that black image, that black line. 
they're not going to see the white border on the outside. So that's why I like to leave a little border. All right, now I'm going to come in here and just go around that little light a little bit. And notice I, I cut here in the middle of my paper snips. I don't stay at the tip, I use here in the middle. Okay, there he is. Isn't he cute? Now I have cut out a basic white stitched rectangle. And we're gonna split the sentiment into two. Normally I would take my post-it tape and I would mask off that bottom section of words, but you can see my block is dirty. <laughs> I always try to clean them before my videos. I'm not sure how that happened. But you can see when you um, stamp like this on the edge, when you have a clear block, it's really easy to just ink the part that you want. All right, so then I'm gonna set that down right there, like that. Now we're gonna do the opposite here in a minute, but let's put the truck together first. I have cut out a flirty flamingo um, heart using our Give It A Whirl dies, which are my favorite dies probably in the whole catalog. I'm gonna put it there with a dimensional and then put this here like this with a dimensional. I think that that square fits pretty nicely there on the truck. You know, one thing that I didn't think of until I was done with these projects, this um, truck has these little lines right here. And if you are gonna put, if you're gonna cut a hole in it, maybe I have a card where we have the spinner. Um, if you're gonna do something like that, or you can always just mask those lines off and then you're not limited to put anything centered in between those two lines. So just an idea. Okay, so we've got that. Now we've got to do a couple of other things for our card. I have a piece of Poppy Parade. The colors I chose are all from the Designer Series paper. They're listed on the pack of paper. They're also listed in the catalog if you're ever curious. And the thing we love about Stampin' Up! is the color matching. You know that if it says Poppy Parade is in the Designer Series paper, well, you can see that Poppy Parade cardstock is going to fit to um, match perfectly. Now I have one of our smaller embossing folders that goes with our mini cut and emboss machine. And um, it's the, it, it comes in a pack of two dots and checks or checks and dots. Um, I'm gonna put this piece right there. And when you emboss on your mini, you use plate one and plate three. And we're just gonna run that through. The mini is so fun, it really is easy to use. There we go, I love that checkered. Now, I have a piece of our Supple Shimmer Designer Series paper, and the Supple Shimmer um, is in the spring catalog as well. In the catalog, it looks kind of blue, but when you get it in person, it, it does have a blue shine, but it's really more of a white, kind of, I mean, it's very hard to describe because it, um, it's kind of like a chameleon. Like right now, when I'm looking at it, it looks blue, but um, you know, if I turn it, then it has that white appearance. We're gonna cut two circles out of this. If you have a circle punch, you can do that too. The circle is about one and three-fourths inch, and you're gonna need two circles. You actually need just one and a half circle. So why don't we see, well, I don't, my paper's too big. You could just cut it like that and save some paper but I'm sure I will find a use for the other half of my shimmery circle. Okay, I think we're ready. Actually, we got one more little step. Let's stamp the rest of that sentiment um, on here. Now I'm gonna clean my stamp because it has ink there on the top. This time we just wanna ink the bottom and we're just gonna do the opposite. I can just stamp it right there on the edge and that this part says today and each day after. I'm gonna stamp it down at the bottom of this piece because we're gonna put the, the um, truck like that, the wheels are gonna go on to the white piece. Now I may have stamped that too far forward, but let's see, I can always redo it. This is a half inch strip and it'll fit right in here in our pick a banner punch. You wanna to try to get it centered in between those grid lines or those guidelines 
and punch it. Good, I did it, perfect. <laughs> I was worried I had stamped that too far up close. And look, we've made a little flag. All right, now we are ready to put it all together. So let's start with our designer series paper. This pack of paper has colorful prints on one side and black and white on the back. If you're like me, black and white designer series paper is a staple. All right, now let's get those circles and we're just gonna cut them in half like that. And I'm gonna run um, some adhesive down one side and then I'm just gonna lay these and you can overlap them a little bit to, to get them to fit. Let's see, they need to go in a little bit more like that. And I think that's about right, right there. All right, and now for our dimensionals. We'll put a dimensional on the back of each corner. Make sure those are pushed down into that adhesive really well. And put that kind of over to the right so the circles have room. And then we'll put two dimensionals on our little arrow. And I'm gonna put it diagonal. You could put it straight across if you want, but I'm gonna just do it like that. And then we will put some Dimensionals on the back of our truck, like that. Put that right there. And then last but not least, let's add a little bow. This is a twine that is from the, oh, I can't remember, Your Biggest Fan Suite. Um, and I can't remember what they call the twine, but it comes in a three pack, three different colors. And this is a Poppy Parade striped twine, which is really fun. And again, it matches those colors. I'm gonna put a mini glue dot on it and put it right there. And there you have it. That truck is so fun. But remember, if you don't wanna double cut, then just color the back side of that truck instead of adding that designer series paper. Either way, it's totally fine. All right, click the link here on YouTube, go back to my blog and check out the other two projects that I have featuring the uh, delivery, best delivery stamp set. Have a great day, everybody. Thanks. Bye-bye.